for our last case, this illustrates that in terms of diverticulitis, it's not the large bowel that gets to have all the fun. It is also shared among the small bowel. And maybe you are not aware of this diagnosis, but it's an important one to uh, be confident recognizing. So the one thing about small bowel diverticulitis is, first of all, at first glance, um, it's not uh, much of an eye test. It's often enlarged and looks like an abscess. So here it contains fluid um, and some air and the amount of surrounding inflammation can really be quite impressive. If you look carefully, you can usually see communication of the diverticulum with the lumen, as we can see here. And importantly, when comfortably making this diagnosis, it's really helpful to look for diverticula elsewhere along the mesenteric border. So here in the J genome, for example, are all these small diverticula. And not every patient is going to have small bowel diverticula. In fact, most would not. But for people that do form diverticula, it's a really helpful confirmatory finding to see non-inflamed diverticula elsewhere. So the importance for this patient would be to confidently make this diagnosis so that they're treated with antibiotics rather than raise the possibility of an abscess, in which case they might get inappropriately um, drained with percutaneous drainage.